This photo is so likable. The big grin, the kind eyes, the waving much too close to the camera lens. There's something about candid photos like this that makes anyone in them seem more honest, more relatable, more true. The photographer who captured the smiley man was this guy. Hi, I'm Jay. I live in Bangalore in India. I'm a market research professional and an amateur photographer. What you're looking at is a picture of a monk that was taken at a place called Baila Kupe. It's about 140 miles from Bangalore and this is one of the largest Buddhist centers in India. I was at this place soaking in the atmosphere, uh, looking at the monastery building, its architecture and this monk was standing a few steps away from me, interacting with a few school kids. I asked permission to click his photograph and he smiled. And then he also started coming towards me in a very jovial mood. I kept on clicking on the camera as I had no time to adjust anything and he kept on getting closer and closer to the camera. This was the first time Jai had ever interacted with a monk, let alone point a camera at one. So the few moments he was able to capture surprised him. It changed my perception of monks. Generally, they are considered to be very serious, very calm. But in this case, it was a very playful and a very jovial moment. It gave me a learning that some special pictures can be clicked in a very unplanned way, like this one. And I have to agree with Jai. Candid photos like this can change our preconceived notions of the world, not just for individuals, but for all of us. Take this shot of Albert Einstein. You've probably seen it before. It was taken back in 1951 as Einstein was leaving his 72nd birthday party. Arthur Sass was one of the many photographers at the scene, but was the only one to capture the scientist sticking his tongue out. Now this simple but silly shot has become one of the most well-known photos of its time. It's goofy and informal, but it humanized one of the most imposing minds of the century. Arthur Sass wasn't thinking of that at the time, and Jai probably wasn't either when he got this shot. But that's the cool thing about candid photography. It has a way of sneaking up on you. I hope you like this episode of Seeker Stories. We are working on so many different kinds of short documentaries about adventure, new cultures, inspirational stories. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out.